Lastly is the file operations. In file operations, we are going to discuss its types and we will want to show it to you how it is happens inside the operating systems. These are the types of file operations. Create. Delete. Open. Close. Read. Write. First is create. For example, the user wants to create a file. In computers, it's easy to create a file using some software or applications. But in operating systems, there are many processes that is need to consider. First, the system will announce that the file is coming. And when the file comes, the directory will check what file container had free space. Then after checking, the file is to be transferred to the free space container. In computers, it will shows that the file has been created. Next is delete. In deleting a file, the operating system will search the file that will be removed at the directory. After searching the file, the operating system will get the file and put it to the trash. After the deletion of file, the space that is used to the deleted file will be used again for the creating a next file. Next is open. In opening a file, the operating system will search to the directory what file will be open. After finding the file, the operating system will get all the informations of the file. The attributes and the disk address. After collecting the informations, the operating system will now open the file and shows all the contents of the file. Next is close. After the user access the file, the file is being closed to minimize the space to open in the computer. By closing a file, all the attributes and disk address are also closed. The file should be closed to free up internal table space. Next is read operation. To read a file, a system call is made that specifies the name of the file and where the next block of the file should be put. Again, the directory is searched for the associated directory entry, and the directory will need a pointer to the next block to be read. Once the block is read, the pointer is updated. Lastly is the write operation. To write a file, a system call is made specifying both the name and the file and the information to be written to the file. Given the name of the file, the system searches the directory to find the location of the file. The directory entry will need to store a pointer to the current block of the file. Using this pointer, the address of the next block can be computed where the information will be written. The write pointer must be updated a circumflex in this way. Successive writes can be used to write a sequence of blocks to the file. Created using Powtoon.